So today I'm going to show you how to do this whole stacking card effect. There is no code that we are going to have to put in for this and this works perfectly in mobile. So let me show you this again as we scroll all the cards are stacking up and if we go in reverse you can see how this thing works in reverse. This is real easy to do so let me show you how to do this for yourself. So here in the Elementor Editor we're going to start this off with our first container. Let me select this one over here. Now this container is going to be the main background section that's going to house all our cards. So let's sort out all the settings for this. I want the content width to be full width. I want to make sure that this is in percentages and I'm going to make sure that the width is 100%. The min height I'm going to change it to VH and I'm going to set this to 100. Then for the justify content I want it in the center and I want it in the center for a line item. Then we're going to head over to style. I'm going to stylize this background. I like to do gradients. So I'm going to set the first color and then I'm going to set the second color and I'm going to make sure that this is radial. Now for this tutorial I do want a little bit of padding on the top and the bottom just so that we can start off that effect quite nicely. So to do that we're going to go to advanced. For the top over here in my particular design I'm going to make sure that it's unlinked. I'm going to say that this is 250 and then for the bottom I'm going to say 150. What I like to do inside this navigator if you don't have this open it's this button right over here. I'm just going to double click this and I'm just going to rename this to the section. It's just for me to keep track of everything easier. Now that we have our background all set, it's time to add those containers. So we're going to click on this plus sign. I'm going to click on my first container, put it in there. So the first thing I'm going to do for this container is I'm going to double click it on the right hand side. I'm just going to call this a card. Then I have this nice reference for when I want to edit something in the future, I can quickly find it over here. Then for the settings of this, on the content width, I'm going to set its full width. For the actual width, I'm going to set this to about a 75. Then the min height, I'm going to change this to VH and I'm going to say that this is 50. Once I'm happy with those settings, I'm going to go over to style. I'm going to keep a background color. So this background color, let me just set it to this pinkish color over here. Then the border, I'm going to say that this is a 25. And then I'm going to give a little bit of a box shadow over here. And I think that looks just fine like that. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to advanced. For this padding, I'm going to unlink this and I'm going to give padding for all the content that's inside the middle over here. For the top and bottom, I want 60. And then for the left and right, I think I'm just going to put it as a 90. Then if we scroll down and we go over to motion effects, I want this to be a sticky on top. Then I'm going to make sure it's for all these different screens over here. The offset for this particular example is 120. It's because I put all that padding on top over here. So if you ever want to adjust it to have this effect low in the screen, you can just add a bit more offset over here. But keep in mind that we are going to be stacking other cards as well. And then the last thing we're going to do over here is the stay in column. We're going to make sure that it's a yes. Okay, so now we're done with that. Now we can design whatever we want inside this card. So for me in this example, I'm going to have a picture on the right hand side. And I'm going to have some text and a heading on the left hand side. So what I'm going to do for that type of design is I'm just going to go back into layout. I'm going to make sure the direction is horizontal and then I can start adding my containers. So over here, now I'm going to add my first one and then I'm going to duplicate this. And then I'm going to be putting those widgets into this very first container over here for the text. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to take the heading, drag it across. Then I'm going to take the text editor. I'm going to drag it across. And then I want to make sure that both of these things are set to white and I want them center justified. And then the last thing I'm going to do for this text over here is I'm going to make sure that I'm on the container and I'm just going to say center. Okay, so now we're done with that. What we're going to be doing on the right hand side is going to be putting an image here. But you can use the image widget or you can just use the container itself. Depending on how you want to design it, it's totally up to you. But for me in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I've selected this container and I'm going to actually put the image to the container. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go to style. I'm going to choose the background type. I'm going to select an image. I'll take this one over here, put select. Then I'm going to make sure that the position is center center. The attachment is default. That's fine. Repeat is no repeat. And the display size is cover. Then I'm going to go down to border. I'm going to put a border to this. I'm going to put it as a 25 as well, just so that it has the same type of radius as the actual card itself. Okay, now that I have all the things that I want inside this card, the last thing that I must just make sure of is if I click on card, I go to advanced, I'm going to give this a Z index of one. So that's everything we need to do for this card. Now it's time to add the other cards. 
So all we have to do now is duplicate this as many times as we'd like. It doesn't matter how many are there. It doesn't matter if it's 3, 10, 20 or 50. This card effect will definitely work regardless of how many you have there. So here's my second one. I'm going to duplicate it to a third, fourth and fifth. Now if I go to my second card, what I'm going to do for the second one is I'm going to make the color a different color and obviously change the picture. So for the second one, let's go to style. I change the color, I think that it can work over here, and then I'm going to change the image, just click on this container, change the background, this picture is fine over here, say select, and I'm going to do this for all the cards. So now I go over to the third one, change the color as well, and then I'm going to change the picture of this one, then I go down to the fourth one, I'm going to change the color as well, and the picture of this one, there we go. And then the last card, we have to do the same thing again, so we go to style of the card itself, change the color and then change its own image that one there is fine now you can see that all these cards are stacking completely on top of each other but we want them stacked in the sort of step design so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the second card we're going to go to advanced and under the motion effects instead of this offset being 120 we're going to add 50 to every single one so what we're going to do over here is this offset of the second one we're going to say that this is 170 so now if I scroll up, you can see it'll stop there, leaving that sort of design space over there to show that there's a card underneath. Then I go to the third one. I'm going to go to advanced under motion effects. And now I'm going to add 50 to the 170. So this one is 220. So if I scroll up, you can see it's stacking nicely there as well. Then on the fourth card, I'm going to do the same principle as well. I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to go to motion effects. And this one is going to be 270. And then the last card, the same thing, advanced motion effects. And this one is 320. Now you can see how this whole design is panning out. And we're pretty much done. Last thing you have to do is click on publish. And we view it on the front end. You can see how this looks as you're scrolling down. And if we scroll back up, you can see how they are unstacking. It's a great design. Now that we have our whole card design, all we have to do is tweak out the spacing settings for tablet and mobile. I do like how it's looking on mobile, but this spacing over here is a little bit too big. So what I do is I click on the container, I'd go to advanced. Then I'd, what I do is I'd keep the top and bottom as 60 and then maybe the left and right as about a 40. And then we'd go do that in every card. So this is the fifth one. I'd go to the fourth. I do the same thing. Make sure it's unchecked. 60 on top and bottom and 40 on the sides. Then I go to the third, uncheck, 60, 40. Second, same thing, uncheck, 60 on top, 60 on bottom, 40, 40. And then the last card, uncheck, 60 on the top and bottom, and 40 on the sides. Now that we have tablet done, then we just go into mobile, and then we do the same thing over there. If you don't want the card to take up the whole screen, and you do want to show the sides, all we have to do is we go into the actual card itself, and under layout, we make sure that we're in percentage, and then we can just shrink it down till we're happy. So I think a 90% is quite fine there and everything else I'm quite happy with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the second card. I'm going to click on that, make sure I'm going to add layout and on percentages and I'm going to make sure that this is going to be 90. Go to the third, same story, layout, make sure the width is in percentages and put as a 90. And I'm going to do this for all the cards. Okay, there we go. And that's the effect working on mobile as well. Pretty easy to do. No code needed to pull this off and definitely something unique that you should do in your next design. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.